So in this radiograph, we have a subcapital femoral fracture. So let's discuss a little bit about normal anatomy and then go back to the classification for subcapital femoral neck fractures. So here we have the femoral head and a fracture along this margin would be a subcapsular, subcapital uh, femoral fracture. We have the femoral neck here. We have the greater trochanter and the lesser trochanter and we can have fractures through both of those. So the classification uh, or the name of subcapital is telling you that it's supratrochanteric above the trochanter as opposed to one that would be here and it's below the uh, trochanter, uh, namely infratrochanteric fracture. So once we have that, then let's move here and look at this. So we have here a complete fracture uh, and there's also displacement. So we're going to start, in this case, this is a type 4 garden uh, fracture. Then if we move to the type 3, the difference would be the grade of displacement uh, is not totally displaced. So it's a complete fracture, but it wouldn't be totally displaced like we're seeing here. So the alignment uh, will be a little bit more anatomical than this one. Then the grade 3 is, is a complete fracture, but then there's no displacement. And then we go to grade 2 and 1, in which we're dealing with more subtle things, namely grade 2 being an undisplaced uh, complete fracture and uh, grade 1 uh, being undisplaced and incomplete fracture. So really only grade 1 uh, is the one that is uh, incompletely fractured. All other threes are uh, completely fractured but they're based on gradient. So number 2, just to recap, is one that is completely fractured but there's uh, no displacement. Number three, there's partial displacement. And then number four is like the one we're seeing in screen in which there's a, a obvious displacement. So kind of think of it as complete fracture, completely displaced. So thank you very much for watching this video and please don't forget to subscribe and share.